everyone, I'm Brianna Nicole from Etched Actuarial and today I'm going to be talking about the number one thing that you need to pass exam P and FM. So if you haven't looked, actually the pass rates for these two exams are about 50% right now, which seems really low. Uh, that means that only 50% of people are passing and if you think about it, that's including people that are writing for their second, third, or fourth time, for example. So the number of people that are actually passing on their very first attempt at the exams is actually really, really low. So I don't believe this is because those people don't have good study materials. I think there are lots and lots of good study materials out there. Um, I usually recommend ACTEX, ASM, TIA, or Court coaching actuaries and all of those are really awesome awesome study materials they're well explained the videos in TIA and coaching actuaries are great I've heard really awesome things about them so that is obviously not the problem what I believe the problem is is that people don't know how to study properly for these exams because they're so much different than what we're used to so when you're just getting started you have no clue how to study you're probably feeling pretty overwhelmed if you've looked at all the stuff that you have to know for the exam. And that was me when I was first starting to write too. I, I just didn't know what to do, so I studied like I would for any other exam. And I ended up failing twice, actually, before I passed it the first time. So I call this a study strategy. It's it's a roadmap or it's a step-by-step -step action plan on how to pass your exam. And when you have a concrete study strategy in place, you feel really focused and organized and it really gives you momentum to keep going day in and day out because you know that if you follow the steps, you're going to be prepared by exam day. Um, one of the, the major things that I find is that people tend to procrastinate on studying. So they end up falling behind on schedule and then they don't get enough practice problems in before exam day. And I think that's one of the main reasons that people fail because it's just so hard in today's society with so many things going on. We've always got things that feel more urgent and we just run out of time to study. And I did the same thing so many times. That's actually why I failed exam P, I believe. So now that I know all this, I've created a study strategy program where I actually help people implement study strategies for themselves. And if you're wondering, a study strategy isn't just a schedule, it's not just study this, 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 and and that's all. It's, it's a lot more complex than that. I do give you a study schedule so that you know what you need to do day by day in order to feel completely prepared on exam day, but one of the biggest benefits of a study strategy is the accountability because in my program I do regular check-ins with my clients and those check-ins give you deadlines and when you have deadlines those really push you forward and motivate you to keep going and doing the studying even when otherwise you you might put it off until another day and that would just put you further and further behind every day so if if that sounds like something that would interest you check out the link in the description below I truly believe that having a study strategy in place is so important for passing and if you're really committed to passing on your first attempt or even if you've failed in the past and you want to pass the next time, I highly suggest a study strategy. I think it will work really well for you. It, it makes sure that you have all your questions answered. It keeps you accountable to your schedule and I adjust your study strategy as you go to make sure that you are always in the best position to pass. So I'll leave a link in the, in the description below if you want help with that. But even if you don't, make sure that you have a study strategy in place. See you next time.